All right, got my tractor stuffed in my tiny little garage here, so bear with me. Um, so what I found was, uh, it was a, a 20, 30, it was about three years old, had about 160 hours when I got it. Um, super excited to get it, love the tractor. Uh, one of the things I noticed though, um, if you, you know, step on one, one pedal or the other, uh, um, the, the machine will continue to creep in that direction. Uh, it's kind of annoying when you're doing stuff where you got to be kind of accurate with where your loader is or, or whatever. Um, also, when you go to shift uh, from you know from from one gear to the next or neutral into a gear, um, it kind of sticks. It's almost like your your clutch is still engaged slightly in your car. It's hard to get it in gear. So um, I'm assuming that is from uh, these guys. Kind of you'll, you'll notice you'll, you'll step on it. It'll kind of it'll kind of stay down just a hair. See, it won't like fully return to the neutral position. Um, there's a return spring I found underneath the tractor, and also an additional zerk fitting that uh, I was unaware of. Um, I greased it up, and it uh, didn't really help. This uh, the tractor was serviced right before I bought it uh, a month ago, anyway. So <clears throat> I'm assuming they greased that, and it was probably okay. So um, if you go underneath the center of the tractor. Uh, follow the um, I don't know what you call that the linkage from the pedals you'll see it go around this gotta lay down here see it mount onto a shaft here which actually goes through the tractor all the way across the I'm assuming that's part of the transmission of some part um, actually so it's right under here and it goes over to a uh, shock over here um, so I'm assuming that won't let you really like jam it one way or the other real quick kind of slows down the quick quick movements um, It's also attached to your brake lever, which is if you can see my hand for here um, So there's a zerk fitting where my finger is This is the one I didn't see until just now. They didn't uh, kind of walk walk through that yet um, and Then this one here, so um, I greased this one up as best I could this thing's not focusing for you. Sorry. This one, I greased this one up, and it did help a little bit with it, with it sticking, but uh, it was still doing it. I greased this one, I didn't notice any difference at all. I used a little bit lighter grease than uh, what, what I normally would use just to see if that helped. So, anyways, if you follow this linkage across, you'll notice um, the throttle. Uh, this actuates the throttle, so when you step on the one of the levers, it'll bump the, the, your, your engine RPM just up, up a little bit. And attached to that same linkage is uh, the return spring right here. And uh, so the tires kind of, there's a loader hookup there and uh, it goes across and it's, it's right here. So if you look up uh, straight up, there's a little two little nuts and that's attached to the under, other end of that spring. So if uh, I retract this adjuster uh, towards the front of the tractor, that should give me more tension on this spring and uh, pull these guys back into position, um, back into the neutral position. So if I pull one pedal, it goes one way. If I pull the other pedal, it also goes that same direction. So I know if I tighten that, that spring, it'll just help return this to the neutral position. I actually had to move it quite a bit to get it uh, to feel right. You could see uh, about a half inch, uh, I, I moved it there. Um, it's a 12 millimeter. I kind of figured it'd be standard, but it's a 12 millimeter. Uh, both, both, uh, both the nuts are. Um, now when I, I pull it and release it, it doesn't uh, doesn't hang out a little bit. Just a little go. Even if you just let it off nice and easy, it goes right back to where it's supposed to be. So um, I think I think I got it. I might go a little bit more. I'm gonna play with it tomorrow or the next day. Um, see if it's still doing it. You could see, uh, I don't think it was, I don't think it was actually greased. So you can see that grease is pretty kind of mushy coming out there. Looks like it had some moisture in it too. Um, that side looks like they like they did it. The grease I put in is uh, blue, so that's not from, from me yet. Uh, there it is. Some, and you can see some of the blue stuff coming out on this end, so. Oop, I'm going to wipe that off. All right.